What's going on, fam? Zoyende, back again. Doing my top 10 figures I got this year of 2015. It'll be my first one. Uh, I'm going to try to, when I do these top 10, try to, it'd be like, they got to be new figures. Like, every new figure I got the year of. But I'm saying that because my... One of them, I'm not sure that it came out this year or was it last year, but since I got it this year and it's it's on my list, so. But from here on out, it should be figures that are new that I got the year of. I'm going to start off with, uh, this is kind of hard picking 10, so I would do more, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay with 10, so. But I'm gonna start off with like four, not in particular order, but four. Uh, what's it called? Uh, honorable mentions. Four honorable mentions. But if I did a bigger list, they'd be on that list. But these four is the the NECA Hero of the Storms Noah figure. I said no in particular order. This this group. One figure I haven't done didn't do a review on, but I got here. I just I uh, just like the kid. I like her. It's a pretty damn uh, good figure of her, which was the Marvel Legend Spider Woman. Uh, he was on the list. I had to knock him off to put somebody else on, cause. But anyways, uh, also Marvel Legends uh, Ghost Rider. And the other one I just got recently, it's probably the best one of the, the line so far that I've gotten is the uh, DC Icons, DC Comics Icons, Lex Luthor. So, so those are my four honorable mentions, but they would be on the longer list. But yeah, so let's get these guys and I might have to cheat with number 10 because... I said this was this was pretty hard to choose. So, but number ten is a tie. I'm gonna start off between uh, the Bandai Ultra X, uh, Ultraman. I can't. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. Julian and Marvel Legend Scarlet Witch. I like to like both of these figures this year. Oh. I can get everybody in here. Doll, Scarlet Witch, uh, main reason is them dummy knees. That's why she's kind of long on the list. But like I said, uh, when I was reading the West Coast Avengers, this was her outfit. So this was the outfit they gave her. And this was uh, like a pretty, one of my favorite figures I got this year. So, and this Ultra Act is also a pretty good one. I got. I just couldn't decide. <laughs> so they're both a tie for right now for number 10. Number 9 is a fire, uh, the Elite from Leonard uh, Puma. And I actually did get two of them. So I'm going to show you this one, the one. I put that uh, Scarlet Witch head on it. This one probably I'm going to use for with my gels. This probably, let me see if I can take this skull out for and just use this one. But the more I look at that figure, the more I liked it. This was a, for being a inexpensive figure, this is a pretty good figure. So it's number nine. I have to give respect, props out to it because it is a good figure. And. So I decided I may put that uh, since there's very few of the the bad guys, I may just put the team. I've already got two more, so I'm putting the their little team together with these figures. So I decided to keep one with her and get one and put the Scarlet Witch, I mean not Scarlet, uh, Black Widow head on it. That's number nine. Number eight is from the 
Heroes of the Storm, uh, Illidan, which is this guy. I, I really like this guy. It's like how he looked. The, uh, sorry, I'm all out of the whole Indian motif. He's Native American motif he's got on him and everything. So, he's a really cool figure by NECA. Like, like I said, they just upped their games. I got everybody out of focus. Let me see. Back out here. If I can put, see if I can get everybody in here. Alright. This is number eight. Uh, number seven. I just recently put this review up, but I said I wasn't feeling the hair, but the more I posed her, I see what they were doing. I still don't like the plastic on it, but I don't mind it as much, and I knew she was going to be on the list, because other than that, she's still a good figure, but I don't mind the hair as much, so it's the uh, Sailor Pluto, that's a sure art Sailor Pluto, and she actually can stand with this hair, I'm surprised, so. The, you know, they give you stands because they know the ankles are not good with standing over time, but she can stand with that hair. So, it's number seven on my list here. Well, let's see if I can get her st stay standing here in the picture so we don't have her falling over. Excuse me for a second. I may have to stop it and. <laughs> Let's see if I can get her. Still didn't fix her leg all the way. Let's see if I can put you back here. She say standing. Dang, she's in the way. <laughs> Trying to get everybody in the shot. That's on my list, so. Okay, number seven. Number six is the Figma Sasuke Kiryun figure. So, number seven. Wait. Number six, I'm sorry. Oh, she fell over. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's number six here. Hold on, I'm gonna, <laughs> let's see. Sorry about this. Just, just don't. Because uh, she can stand, you just gotta be patient. Her, Sailor Pluto. She can stand on her own, but I'm just trying to do this so. Get everybody in picture and frame. God oh, dang it. That's the only thing with this guy, too, is weapons. That's why he's kind of lower on the list. His weapons kind of get in the way and. They knock, start knocking other stuff over. Well, let me just fix this guy. So can get everybody standing. So so far, okay. So what we got number five here. Number five is another Figma. <laughs> the Hirohito Hanzo, uh, ninja figure. Try to put keep her over here. Yeah, this guy, like I said, I like ninjas, and this guy was a pretty well-made figure. Uh, I liked this guy a lot. Uh, yeah. Let's see if I can. This I didn't. That detail in this art, this well, this one's one of the best sculpted figures I got this year. So, he's number five. It's Figma Hanzo. Here, Hito Hanzo. Uh, number four is the SA Street Yards Harley Quinn. 
yeah, I, just, I really had fun posing her and take pictures of her. Just like I said, I wasn't planning. On, I thought it would be cool to get her. I wasn't planning on getting her, but my comic show had her, and it was fun taking pictures of her this year. And so she's number four. She was number three until she got knocked out of the spot by this guy. Number three, uh, the uh, Sentinel. Got your man G2 figure. This guy has just been really cool to play around, mess around with, and it's my first one from this these this line from Sentinel. So he's just really cool. Well put together. I figured finally got the gun on him, but I don't know if I like I said uh, that clear plastic just frights me and taking it on and off. So let's see if I can get him back here. Ah, oh, dang it. It's trying to him because he's a tall figure. So, number three. Hope everybody's still in the picture here. But number three, number two. You just just because it's my favorite. Common Rider, but it is still a cool figure. The renewal, uh, as a Sugar Arts 2.0 Common Rider Agito. It's my like I said, my favorite Common Rider. But this figure just improved on the on him so much. So yeah, he's number two on the list. So uh, let me see Back out here a little bit more. Everybody. So some people are hiding <laughs> back here. So So number two. Uh just wanna take this time to thank everybody that's been watching my videos and everybody that subscribed this year to me. So thanks to everybody. Uh, so number one for me, this is. I want. I was gonna try to get another one, but she don't went up in price. But I'll wait and see. I still do want to get another one. Was the Figma Ryoko Matoi figure was my number one favorite figure I got this year. She's just really fun to pose. Really fun to do things with. So it was this pleasant surprise. Like I said, I. I wasn't feeling Figmas, but they've been getting, been getting them. Uh, they've been better. The ones that the more I get, the better they get. And so this one was like my favorite figure I got this year, though. So that is my stand top ten list here. So like I said, thanks everybody for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. Uh, like this is my list. You know. You may have yours. Uh, I want to see, like to see everybody. So let me just do this. So all oh, these are my top ten figures I got this year. With the tie ten being a tie. So thanks everybody for watching. And until next time, Ian Day has spoken. Peace.